welcome to my new channel no code ai for the win this is actually going to be my first video and i want to look into how agent frameworks designed for use with natural language models can be implemented in a no code tool so one of the agent frameworks that have been popping up lately is crew ai you can see the github page here and i provide the link below and crew ai allows to define agents that interact with local language models and work as cohesive units to solve certain tasks if you want to find out more you can have a look at the examples provided there are a couple of videos and more popping up every day that nicely illustrate what these agents can do for you thus far the requirement to use something like this was to be able to code in python and i think i found a way how this can be also be made more accessible to a wider audience using low code tools my tool of choice for that is nime analytics platform which i am running locally here in my in version 5.2 and now let me maybe talk you through the requirements so Uniquely of historic ideally the latest 9 version, including the Python integration extension. And you also will need to set up your own Python environment with 9 packages and the core AI package installed. So unfortunately the 9 default Python environment doesn't support the core AI package. There are some limitations that I've developed here that I want to inform everyone up front about. So right now there's no support for custom tools, it seems like it cannot be switched off in true AI. So my recommendation as a workaround is to um, put the sentence, you do not need to use tools inside anything that goes into the LM. Um, so primarily the agent description and the task description which we'll talk about later. How can you uh, use this tool? Uh, there are certain information requirements. Uh, number one is uh, information about natural language language models. So either you need to bring your open API key, then you can use a ChatGPT API, or alternatively you provide a base URL to a locally hosted open AI API chat completions compatible natural language models that you host via LM Studio or Llama CPP or Llama or any other package. I think if you consider that an option, then you will know what I'm talking about. So then we need to define our agents. Each agent needs a name, a goal, a backstory, and an agent model. And we need to define tasks for the agents to execute. Task name, task description. Then we need to assign one of the agents that we've created to perform the task. And uh, there's also some flexibility to make any workflows that you create scalable to inject certain parameters into this. So if we have a look at this, uh, let's just execute the uh, provide LLM information component. And you can see um, I leave the OpenAI API key blank and I will provide base URL. So I'm running a local Mistral 7 billion parameter uh, Dolphin model that we'll use for and I go with a temperature of 0.7. Then let's look at how we define our agents. So the use case is to write a blog post and with two agents, one agents. We'll brainstorm a topic and provide a bullet pointed outline. And the second agent takes the client as an input from the first agent and turns it into a fully fledged blog post. If we look into this as an example, so we've given it a name, a very simple goal and a very simple backstory. And as you can see, I've included here this phrase, you do not need to use tools. And the second agent looks very similar, but just has a different goal to start with. If you use OpenAI API, so if you provide an OpenAI API key, you can also choose the model that you want to use. So for a diff more difficult task, you could use GPT-4 for some flat tasks, GPT-3.5 to save costs. So these agents then get the output of the agents get merged in this concatenate mode and you can simply add more agents by just copying the component defining your agent adding 
and new port hooking up your adrian even new adrian to this port and then they are reusable so for now we'll delete that continuing on we have to define our tasks and our first task is to create a blog post outline and we ask the adrian to think step by step to brainstorm ideas and we then provide a blog post topic via a variable so it's important that any variable is in this curly braces and the variable the value for the variable you can then define in the next section so here we have topic and then have typed in in back of generative ai on healthcare and we could add a second one we just needs to be on a new line and we would then need to include it here in curly braces but we won't do that for now so the second task is a little simpler because we don't have any parameters in it. So this is the block block a writing post and this time we've selected the block post writer agent to execute this task. When you create new task, it is important that you connect them manually to the output of this concat node so that it knows which agents are available. And then again you can just create a new port and connect the output ports to these two concat nodes as it did above and then it should work. Alright, so now that I've worked you through everything and you know the topic, let's see what our agents come up with. And for that I will actually uh, switch to the classical user interface because in the modern user interface unfortunately there is no console support yet. So let me make this a little bigger and let then run. So in the console you can now see how the Python process gets started and how our agents get um, spun up. And now you can see that the first task that we've defined gets sent and the working agent is a block post gatherer. This will now take a moment. It was quick. So here we already have the output which then gets sent to the next agent as an input. And let's see how long this takes. And there we go, that the put that the agent came up with. Clint, now the script has finished running and the blog post output you can find in a table here as a result and then you can do a bit, um, whatever. So far for the demo, um, I leave the link to my Nime app uh, version of this current implementation in the description below so that you can try it out yourself and let me know what else you want to see on this channel. A quick addition to the video to share with you how you can fairly easily set up your Kunda environment to make sure that you can run workflow. So first of all just go to Google and search for Mini Kunda. Follow the first link that you find and you should be able to download the mini Kona installation for your system. So for example, I will choose Windows 64 bit. After that, you open that downloaded file and install it. And once installed, you go to the search bar and search for mini and open this Anaconda prompt mini Kona window. That then opens a window like this. And important take note of this path that will be important later on. So in Windows and the default installation, if you don't change it, would be to use us your profile name, but it might be something that you must take note of that. So after that, go to my Nime Hub. And other than the workflow, you can also see an environment YML file. So this one you download by simply clicking on it. And after that, copy this file, and I go to the folder, copy the file, and you copy it in to this folder. So once that is done, you type the following command. Conda, nv, mh, space, dash, f, space, environment, dot, y, and n. So once you hit enter, this will trigger the installation of the right Python version and any packages that you need. And the environment should be called Nime True AI. So 
Once the installation is finished and that may take a while, you can check whether it worked by typing conga If after typing that command, you then see that you are in the Nightcray environment, then everything is in order. So now, the only thing left to do is to actually choose this corner environment for your Alarm Analytics platform. So go to your Alarm Analytics platform, click on Preferences, and under Preferences, name, you first go to Conda and make sure that um, you choose the folder we have installed, Conda in 2. So again, the default one uses your profile name and then Anaconda 3. And after that, you go to Python, and under Python, you select Conda. Wait a little bit while it's collecting all the available environments. And in your list, you should then find Cray. Then go right close, and then you can download the Cray workflow, and you should be able to use it without any problems. With that, thank you very much, and have fun.